Wow, Harley Badger makes everything. He makes garbage disposals and he also makes brush cutters or otherwise known as a weed whacker. So this is a Badger 26cc WB26BCI. Let's take a look. It will never look this good again because <laughs> obviously it's going to be used. But there it is, shiny and new. I just finished assembling it and it was uh, fun because the pictures didn't explain how everything went. For example, attaching the handle, they just said, take the handle. Take, take it where? Out to the ball game? <laughs> you know, it, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. So there were four hex bolts, the top comes off, the whole thing comes apart, and then you put it on only to tighten those to find that you don't have it in the right position so you get to loosen them all again move it and retighten them and by that point if you're not retarded and you're using a hand hex bit or you know hex um, wrench your hand will be tired if you use a drill you'll strip the damn thing out and then end up bringing it back to the store so i did it by hand so put that on and then this just goes on with two more hex bolts and then they were extremely vague about the head over here also there's a hole where you stick the wrench in to keep the shaft from turning and screw it on but they didn't explain how these collets went see this is your nylon string right here and that's a knife that will cut it off it's got a bump thing as you see it moves like that so when you bump it on the ground so it'll scratch up that nice shiny plastic it will advance the line and the knife will cut it off the knife is nothing more than a little piece of sheet metal leftover parts for the uh, brush cutter itself they give you a scrunch I guess that might fit the spark plug also but it fit that and they give you an allen wrench and another one and they also give you a very handy shoulder strap for it also, which I have yet to put on. So that makes it especially easy on your back, like that. So that's kind of cool. The brush cutter is here. It's marked, it's a 3T. I swore I looked at this before and none of them were checked, but whatever. I'll peel this off. And the blade is in here in a plastic thing, like that. Let me take it out of there if I can. It's just metal with a barely blunt beveled edge on it. Might be handy. All metal. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm, mm. Definitely don't want to use this around concrete because it'll destroy it to bits, but I could definitely see how this would be handy for a garden of weeding. All right, well, it's time to start this for the first time ever. So, see how this goes. It is a two cycle, so they're always finicky. The primer bulb is down in here. It's sort of in an inconvenient spot. And they say to hit it 10 times. So, First thing we got to do is move the lever to start, and the primer is like underneath here. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's like that's a little inconvenient, but otherwise, let's get it primed. Okay, there's 10 and it definitely filled up the primer with fuel, the primer bolt with fuel. And now they say to pull the rope three to five times while putting your hand there. Quiet. 
I've never seen that. Now let's rev it up. I like it already. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to. And of course, I will let you know about my experience with it. With any new tool, even though I've owned two um, weed whackers before, with any new tool, there's always going to be a bit of a learning curve. But otherwise, it looks like it works well. So let me go do some weed whacking. I just mowed, so he has. So I redecided. I think I will show you weed whacking some because I liked it that much. Oh wait, the signature J sweatband. I'm gonna need that kind. There we go. All right. I'm not gonna reprime it because it was running before, but I'll put it back. So while I'm busy weed whacking here, this thing was great. You see, I just bumped it on the ground there to get the line to extend out. It just advanced. I never had that. My old Craftsman one, the red one I used to have years ago, had the, uh, what I like to call the Twizzler that you would put in. You'd put the string in, and by the time the string was worn, I'd end up going through three of them by the time I was done. And it was a pain because you had to stop the engine every time and pull that thing out. Half the length of the string was always wasted because there's only so far it'll go through the center hub. And I always wanted to bump one. The one I had for the past two years was never taken care of and nothing on it worked right. I don't even think I got a video of it, and I gave it away, so that's the end of that one. But as you can see, I'm just going along here. Now, it doesn't look the greatest. Perhaps I don't have the best technique. I don't know anything about weed whacking. All I know is it looks better after I'm done, but it certainly doesn't look like when Julio from the schoolyard would come by and do it. Not that I have Julio ever come, but, uh, you know, whatever. One thing I didn't show in this video is using that shoulder strap, and I will tell you it was an absolute game changer. Absolute game changer. It took all of that weight of carrying this thing around and put it on my shoulder rather than on my lower back, and that's where I have back problems in my lower back. So anyway, I'm all done here, and we'll wrap this up went absolutely like butter. It was really nice. I can handle it with my back. It's not happy about it at all, but I can handle it. And it cut as well as any others I've had. So I got a lot more work to do, but I'm sure you have your own yard work to do. This uh, edger or uh, weed whacker was made possible by Lexmarks 567. He had a video about maybe a year ago 
where he bought a new one and I watched his video and I said I'm sold and he says well don't buy one <laughs> well it turns out the model that he got is no longer available this year so we found this one and it was like 20 or 30 bucks more so I sent him something worth like 20 or 30 bucks and hopefully that'll you know kind of even it out in that regard huge thank you this is an early birthday present from Lexmarks 567 so huge thank you to Lexmarks 567 make sure that you go to his channel he's got a lot of vintage stuff and you know a, an entire gallon offering of different things sort of like I do you never know what's coming next he posts on the weekends so he's not going to fill up your inbox with all kinds of stuff so I highly suggest that you go over there and hit subscribe because you never do know what you're going to see next. Huge thanks once again to Lexmarks 567 Make sure you subscribe to his channel and that's going to do it. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.